So after getting embarrassed by the Miami Dolphins and losing 40 to 14, we have to get our shit together. So the biggest piece here is trying to make sure our offense is what it needs to be. I mean, like our receiver core, Jarvis Landry, who I thought would be a great signing for us, is turning out to be, you know, maybe we don't need his veteran experience because, yeah, he's clutch, but I'm really liking John Ross here. John Ross has shown that he can, he he's <laughs> for the squad and plus he has the speed and window Robinson, all that good stuff. And then... Defense, we need to get more plays out of these guys. We need more out of these guys. Z's is starting, but I need more from the D-line. I think that's the biggest, the biggest thing here. The D-line, we need more work there. Because I need more pressure. I need more pressure coming from that unit. So, I think that's a trade we're going to make. And once Tyree Phillips comes back from injury, which I don't think he would come back in time, but we would move him. But Jarvis Landry, if we could send him to a team where we could get D-lineman help, so our biggest need is a left end. So we are going for left end. Gregor Rousseau is now an 85. Do we make a blockbuster trade? Send Jarvis Landry to the... No, maybe we even trade a pick. Just a pick straight up for Jar uh, Gregory Rousseau. They want a right tackle, a nose tackle, a left outside linebacker, a right guard, a left guard. How about if we trade Mark Lewinsky? If we sent them Mark Lewinsky... And we send them a fourth. Would that go through for Gregory? So we're mortgaging like all of our picks, but that has no value. But Glowinski in a second. How how about that? Would that work? Close. Would we throw in a fourth as well. Doing a lot for him, but still doesn't work. We're gonna have to mortgage a lot. But Gregory so is actually a very high overall, which caught me off guard. Not gonna lie. So as we're still searching to see if there's any left ends here that we could use to help out the squad, because we have to make a move here. To kind of better help ourselves. Because this is this is getting out of hand. <laughs> you, you guys see it, you know. Like, we got to get someone that could help out. Jermaine Johnson, he's only 75. He's young. He, You know, he's scheming all that. Could work. But do we have... Are we in win-now mode? That's the question. Like, are we re are we in win-now mode? Like, if we're in win-now mode, we could develop Jermaine Johnson compared to... Compared to, um... What's his name? Larry Ogunjobi. And... If I'm not seeing any other options here, I think that's what we're going to go with. I'm not really seeing anything, so I'm going to go see if we could take Jermaine Johnson, the Jets' first-round pick. Jermaine Johnson, they want a quarterback. We can't give you that. They want some front seven pieces. Uh, Don't really have anything for you guys there. Safeties, nothing there. We got Jason Pinnock, but he's fine. So if we could send a fourth for Jermaine Johnson, that wouldn't work. But maybe a second. He's a backup, too. He's a backup, so this probably does not go through. Wow. A two and a four for Jermaine Johnson. Wow, that doesn't go through either. John Franklin Myers, who doesn't fit our scheme. So we get Derek Brown. So we're gonna move Dexter Lawrence to the left side. We're gonna move away these, we're gonna move these picks now. I think this is pretty solid, a pretty good route where we're going. We're gonna send Jarvis Landry somewhere to a team that needs a receiver. Um, I don't think the Raiders need him. I don't think you guys need him. Ravens could probably use him, but I'm not going to send him there. The Seahawks got a million receivers. I'm taking Jackson Smith and but I'm taking him. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, <laughs> Hello. let's see if we can get a pick out of this too. If we get like a third, <laughs> we can get a third. All right, how about straight up? But you guys, like, why did you guys draft him though? How about next year's first? Because I, I do want him. I do want to pair him up. If, if if there's a chance. We might be reaching it here, but... Yeah, we'd have to give up a lot for him. Uh, all right. Well, they say they still need a receiver. So, Jarvis Landry is a big, like, cap guy, I guess, they want. So, we could probably get a second for Jarvis. He's 30 years old as well. A second wouldn't work. How about another team that's interesting? Because I know we could get a... We could get some good return for him. They have two first rounders. Set Texans have two first rounders. Give me one of them. Dude, so close. So close. How about the Vikings who are interested? This definitely wouldn't work either. Nah. They have a higher third round, I think. So we'll just trade him there. We just trade away Jarvis for that third. And then maybe we give away Larry Ogunjobi for... um. 
for a receiver. Maybe we get another receiver or someone that's solid. Someone that's solid that could help us out. He's yellow pretty much everywhere, so we can get one of those mid-level like receivers, I think. They have I feel like Elijah Moore would be the guy. The guy for this. They're close on him. And then Larry Ogunjobi. Because I know he definitely wants out this year. Currently, I know he wants out. So if we give them a fifth of next year and Larry Ogunjobi for Elijah Moore. Alright, a fourth of next year and Larry Ogunjobi for Elijah Moore. That'd be nice. We get him. So we fix up that whole situation. Huge changes to the team. Not gonna lie. Um, we're gonna make sure that uh what's his name elijah moore first off dexter lawrence has to go play left end now which is great because now we get to have more flexibility with the d-line and we had to mortgage some picks but that's okay we're doing it for just one year dexter lawrence now at the left end position he's an 85 and he fits the scheme all i needed to see Derek brown fits the scheme see that helped the offensive line quite a bit i do not want elijah moore wearing number 20 i mean number 16 so we got to see who's wearing number eight I, I hope it's not like a trash, not trash, but I feel like, what if it's Deshaun Kaiser? Who's wearing number eight? You don't need number eight. It is Deshaun Kaiser. <laughs> All right, we're going we're gonna to make sure, we're going to make sure that um he keeps his number. And we're going to move Deshaun Kaiser to, um we'll give him number 13. So we pick up Elijah Moore, get Dexter Lawrence. Elijah Moore becomes receiver number one on the team. Josh Downs definitely needs to come up there, but Josh Downs got his 96 speed. He's faster than John Ross. And then even though all of our guys are around the same height, 5'10", 5'11", 5'8", 5'10", we have just our big guy when we want to throw in Colin Johnson, you know, <laughs> just, just in case. But all of our receivers are in the 20, so we don't really have veterans. The oldest guy here is John Ross, so he's kind of in that veteran role, I guess. But Elijah Moore is coming onto the team. Oh, he's already got an upgrade, deep threat. He's going to be perfect. I think he's going to help our, our squad out quite a bit. Um, let's make sure he just has, he's rocking his number. So we traded like a no, Jarvis for a younger Jarvis, which is perfect. But we give Elijah Moore his number eight. Awesome. So now we have him. We have Elijah Moore. And then D-line, I'm pretty sure Derek Brown was 95, but I can't be too sure about that. Um, but they gave him 91, so I guess that's okay. I don't know who's wearing number 95. Quincy Roche, he's a backup. That's fine. New beginnings for Derek Brown. Actually, we got to make his number fly. It's all about representation, you guys. You know what I'm saying? It's all about representation here. So, we're going to make sure Derek Brown, because we traded for him, so we got to make sure he's a fly number. Uh, maybe not in the 80s. Maybe in the 50s. What, what do we have in the 50s? We give him 55. Derek Brown being 55 or 50. Give him 52, but he's a D lineman. How about the nine? Does he is there a 99 available? We'll give him 99. I have no problem with that. 91, 93, 94. 94. I don't remember Dexter Lawrence. He's 97, I think. 93, the new Gilbert Brown. <laughs> Derek Brown. Perfect. Gilbert Brown, if you guys know. Packers legend. <laughs> But it'll be paired up there with Dexter Lawrence. I think I think this is pretty good for the team. I'm, I I I think this will work out well. Take a look at the offense before we go into next week and see what we're facing. Uh, so CJ Strood. Yeah. What? Okay, maybe it didn't up. Maybe it didn't update. Uh, maybe it didn't update. I don't know what's wrong. We'll probably advance to next week so it could go through. Oh, we're facing the Niners. We're facing the Niners. So we are facing the O and I mean I thought we were or they were O and two. We are facing the two and O Saints. Why would I say Saints? The Niners. Ah, uh, so an undefeated versus us who are trying to figure it all out. Okay, bro. Did I not make the moves for the team? Okay, fullback is correct. Did I, bro? Did I not trade? Okay, well I guess we have to redo the trades. So we're facing Christian McCaffrey and the Niners. I was about to say Panthers. That's crazy how he got traded there. Elijah Mitchell's still on the team. All right, I think he is on the team. Trey Lance is QB1. Uh, we got Dexter Lawrence next to... Oh, my gosh. Dexter Lawrence. What? 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 I literally cracked Trey Lance and he completed that pass still. 
Malachi Jones, the rookie, is going to be facing against George Kittle here. That's what I get. That's what I get. That's what I get. They were, we were about to blitz him, and then we just moved off just for a little split second, you know? Kavion got a sack, but it looks like it's going to count as a rush. So everything was pretty much covered. Brady Breeze is in. Melvin Ingram's in. Take Crowder. Oh, let me use Brady Breeze. We got Debo. Let's go. Brady Breeze makes the play. Stops him for a fourth and three. Held him to three. We're going for it. Actually, I'm sending the blitz. We're sending the blitz. I got to see if we can reach home. They're going to run this? Brady Breeze. Did he make the... No, that wasn't Brady Breeze. Darnay Holmes made a play. That's lit. Like, they really ran on fourth and three. That's a crazy play call. See, Colin Johnson is not in the game this time. But where's Elijah Moore, though? Hopefully, he didn't get injured. The nice catch by Wendell. Hold on. We got to make sure that Elijah Moore isn't injured. He just joined the team, dude. High ankle sprain. Oh, my gosh. High ankle sprain. You just joined the team. <laughs> All right, well, we just got to keep going for our offense then. Nothing else we can do. Saquon, let's punch this rock in. We can't because our guys aren't reaching the blocks in time. So we got to make sure we get some points out of this. So it's either Irv Smith or Wandale. Touchdown. Wandale Robinson, let's go. We have a two-minute drill to get some points. I guess our offense or I guess our defense made a stop. So boom. Nice. Nice block. Saquon, nice to the outside. Sierra Smith. I don't. Let's hope that Fred Warner's blitzing. He's not. I'm not gonna test them. Nice catch by Saquon. Across the middle. I think we're across the 50 right there. Pick up about five yards. Got 30 seconds left. Only got two timeouts. I'm gonna keep no huddling this. He sent a blitz. Oh, oh, come on, CJ. We had Wandale wide open, dude. That's all right. Rookie mistakes. Rookie mistakes. Third and five here. Um. I think I want to hit Irv Smith if he's open. Evan Neal. Oh. I can't run out outside that. We're going to have to punt the ball. Wait. A 50, a 60-yard field goal? A 60-yarder from Graham Gano? He's going to bang this down the line on the money? That's, that's too easy. That's too easy. We missed? We banged like 61 plus in literally the... Preseason and we missed that one. It just falls flat. That was on the money too. Wow, that's crazy. They're going for a field goal. Alright, if if he makes this, I'm gonna be annoyed. Let me go back there with Xavier McKinney. Oh yeah, he missed it. He missed it. He missed it. He missed it. Ah, oh, if I could have caught that. So we're starting to half. We're up 7-0 still. It looks like we're driving, so it looks like our, our team is our offense is moving the ball way better. We missed the block. We missed a uh, clear block. Number 61. That was Eric McCoy. That, that was a bad miss right there. I, I noticed that. I noticed that. But we got to keep it pushing, though. Second and 10. Okay, he got stuck. Oh, wide open. Oh, my gosh. Okay, he dropped it. CJ, CJ, CJ. Is that on me? Is that on me? Guys, let me know in the comments down below if that's on me. Because that's... Uh, third and 10, Fred Warner cracks me, so we have to settle for a field goal. All right, so it's 10-3. I think Elijah Mitchell, not Elijah Mitchell. I think uh, Christian is not playing. All right, I'll take a holding call. A Sterling Shepard could get stopped. I'll definitely take a holding call. What's the penalty? Holding offense. Yep, yep. They call those penalties on me. We definitely call it on them too. Now we got first and 20 here. I gotta see if we get some pressure. I'm gonna use Dexter Lawrence. See if he's not getting double teamed. Okay. Malachi Jones all over that. Or Kavion? I thought that was Malachi. Okay. I mean, either way, that works. So, Kavion's coming in the left side, too. I don't think they have um, Trent Trent Williams anymore. Oh, yeah, Kavion. Let's go. Let's go. Our run defense, Derek Brown. Us acquiring him, 14 carries for 23 yards for Elijah Mitchell. We got third and 21 here. Kavion, let's see if we can get a sack here. If you can get a sack here, it's lit. Oh, that's a pick. Let's go. Interception. 
Let's go, Sean Murphy Bunting. Our team's playing with way better confidence. The score is still 10-3, though. <laughs> still 10-3. Nothing changed that. But we're going to keep trying to see if we can keep running this rock here. Oh, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Saquon for the touchdown. All right, we're running a play called Dagger. This can really, like, end the game for them. Boom. First down, Irv Smith Jr. We take our first dub against the undefeated Niners. Let's go, ladies and gents. We get our first dub against the Niners. And Trey Lance and CJ Stroud battled. Uh, CJ Stroud had a higher completion percentage and higher passing yards. Low scoring game, but we'll take it. 118 passing rating. A game where CJ Stroud did not turn the ball over. Trey Lance did throw that interception we got. A, a nice rushing day for uh, Saquon. 15 carries, 71 yards, one touchdown. And then we, we shut down Elijah Mitchell of the whole game. Him, uh, Debo kind of did all right, three carries, 19 yards, but we really shut it down overall. And receiver Wendell came up clutch. Con Johnson subbing in for Elijah Moore, who suffered a high ankle sprain, really came up clutch too. And um, Irv Smith, Josh Downs were just all right, but very interesting. Colin Johnson came in and kind of did his thing. Kavion Thibodeau, that was the player of this game. He had four tackle for losses, 10 total tackles, and he just... Did he force a fumble? No, he didn't. But he he had four tackle for losses, so that was a big. He was a big game changer. And do we get any sacks? Melvin Ingram got a sack, so the oh, the vet showing how it's done. But we finally got it back on track. We're now one and no mindset. So let's keep it pushing.